Hey everyone, um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I know I've shared my uh, Black O'Brides story before on Ruth and Nicole's podcast and YouTube channel, BBB Army Hearts to Hearts, and I just want to say how grateful I am for having done that, doing that, and um, how grateful I am for both of them for opening the door to this and, um, you know, being a huge role in bringing the Black Bill Brides army together even more. And, um, I will say I feel like I've definitely gotten to get to know more people and kind of, I guess, open up a little bit more. And I've, I never never thought I would do that just because I have always been very introverted and I like to close myself off a lot and I will say I I am very glad that I decided to not close myself off as much and I'm very grateful to have had the opportunities I've had so far and you know getting to know more people and connect with people in a way that I've never experienced is I don't even know how to describe it it's incredible and I'm so glad I have been able to share so many flute covers and drawing time boxes and my artwork and everything with um, anybody who sees it, um, all of my friends, um, and even the band themselves, which is so crazy to me. Um, I never would have thought that when I discovered Black Flute Brides when I was in middle school, that any of this would happen, that I would get to even be able to see them and so many times and get to meet so many people that I've connected with online in Twitter, with Twitter and Instagram and um, even through YouTube and Jake's Twitch stream and, um, you know, The Andy Show and um, Lonnie's YouTube channel as well. and. I guess, I don't even know where I'm going with this video, but, um, I honestly put all of my, I started putting up covers and drawing time lapses here just for shits and giggles, and then, you know, there's, I didn't actually join Twitter until, god, like 20, 2021, I think, like late 2021. And um, I'm glad that I did because I connected a lot more with people. Um, I got to connect a little bit more with Chris Beersack of all people. Um, and he's just a gem. And I'm so thankful to have support from, I mean, from him and the band, which is, I still can't, I can never wrap my head, head around it. but. Um, I just hope that I just hope that everything I do and I try and put out at least has, has some kind of positive impact on somebody and kind of gives them a little bit more hope like the hope that the band has given me and you know life sucks it does I think we all know that as adults nothing's ever easy but even just the hours I've set it set aside every night to just 
work on, you know, um, my flute playing, trying to learn a new song, trying to challenge myself, or even just trying new things with my drawing, um, figuring things out with that, and branching out a little bit. Um, I hope that sparks at least a little bit of inspiration and in somebody and I'd like to think it does um I never this wasn't in my in the vlog from the Cedar Rapids show when I had played on stage but I had told a couple of my friends and I had told Lonnie and I had told my parents about this but after after the show was done I was getting all my stuff together and um this girl who I think was like 17 or something she came up to me with her mom which I was a little confused at first but she just came up to me like her <sighs> she was just so happy and her her eyes were just glowing you know she had just this grin on her face and her mom was so happy and she came up to me and asked me to take a picture with her and I said yeah of course um and you know she said that it was really inspiring to see someone um who plays a flute like her um get up on stage and play at a rock and roll show and or at a metal show, whatever you want to classify it as. And um, she said, I, I want to do something like that. And, you know, at the time I didn't really process it because I was trying to get back uh, to meet Jake because I had gotten a vest um, and I was going to meet up with my friend Anna. Um, so it really didn't really, it didn't really hit me until after I got my car, but I just hope that as I continue creating and putting myself out there a little bit more, trying new things with my flute stuff, trying different collaborations, um, that, you know, it just keeps growing and I hope that I can be someone that people can take inspiration from and um, I guess find a little bit of joy and I'm I'm gonna be completely honest like I struggle a lot with um, my mental health I always have I didn't really start struggling it with anxiety until high school, but I found my way through music and um, finding a creative outlet would help that a lot, and it has, and even if you don't know this, I also weightlift, I am a personal trainer, but even just spending an hour in the gym has helped with that as well, just keep your mind off of stuff, and you'll feel, feel a little bit better about myself. Um, but occupying ourselves with things that bring us joy and focusing on the positive, finding the strength in the most shitty situations um, and finding, having people in your life who, even if they're going through things, they'll still, they'll still be your light in the dark tunnel and I think Black O'Brien's stands is that um, the band kind of gives um, those who are fans um, or the people in the Black O'Brien's army a little bit of hope and a little bit of light that they need in their lives. And even Ruth and Nicole and Victoria and Bellamy and Ian. Um, I mean, you guys have, you've seen me through it all, and even though I haven't known you for 
super long time. It just feels like I've known you guys forever. So, thank you. <laughs> um, I also want to give a huge thank you to um, Lonnie and Jake and Drinks and Cece and Andy for, you know, um, I guess being little cheerleaders for me. Um, even though I don't really talk to you guys that much or very often, um, I still feel like you guys are cheering me on. So thank you. Um, Cause even on the days that I don't feel like getting out of bed or, you know, sitting down and working on a drawing or practicing my flute or anything, it kind of gives me a little bit of motivation, a little bit of a push to keep on going because like if you stop, then that's, that's failing. Like you're not failing if you're still working towards something you are so passionate about. Like you will make it work if you just keep pushing on, even if you want to just stop when it starts to get kind of hard. And I've definitely had moments like that, but thank you guys. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I just started making this video just because I felt like it was something I needed to get off my chest. So I don't even know what I'm gonna title it. Um, or even if I'm gonna have it up very long, but I just thought it was something that you guys should know. And yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, probably another drawing time lapse. Um, I'm hoping to do another float cover in June. I don't know of what because things have changed a little bit, but I do have a couple songs lined up and July will all be just concert vlogs like every week. Um, so yeah, um, thank you guys so much.